the Lakeside Park Carousel is undergoing restorations. Members of the Friends of the Carousel are working hard to get the characters ready for the upcoming season. We started in 1999, so at the end of this restoration season, we'll be 25 years. And what have you seen as those 25 years have gone along? An enthusiastic group who never fails to do what they do best, and that way we're keeping the carousel going around and around. And what do they do? Well, first of all, our motto is safety first. So we have restorers who check all the characters that need repair. And then it's the delight of the painters that make them look pretty that the public actually sees. Gary, what's happening in the workshop today? Well, right now, um, we're in the process of restoring the characters that uh, the city brings to us from the carousel. We start with generally uh, removing paint. We scrape the paint off by hand. And then once we discover uh, any damage that the, has occurred to the characters, then we go ahead and either repair or sometimes we have to uh, remove some, some parts and, and repair them. Right now there are um, some of the characters, they had broken legs. Uh, so we had to remove them and, and uh, redowel them and re-glue them. And we remove any uh, nails or screws if we find them uh, the way that they were originally done way back. Once uh, the, we've determined that they're redone properly and safely, then we s they go over to the paint shop where they get painted and uh, finished off. Linda Klopp has enjoyed being a volunteer artist for the last 14 years. The restorers, they, they do all the hard work. They bring the animals to us. Uh, we now have to prime the animal. Uh, we work with one-shot uh, uh, oil paints. Uh, it's very durable, but it still needs several coats on them. We have charts and pictures of the horses, so once I get that done, I decide on what colors. The city decides on what color the row would be, and then I decide what's gonna be on the saddle, the horse, so. It, and then the girls, once they start painting, they just look at the charts and, and paint forward, so. I've been on that carousel. I know there's quite a few characters uh, going round and round. How many would you say there are? Um, this car carousel is uh, probably one of the few in North America that has four rows. Um, and uh, in this carousel, there are 68 characters and four chariots. How long are you in this workshop doing restorations? We, we get into the workshop um, after the carousel closes, just after Thanksgiving, and we're here pretty well all winter, uh, right up until generally April when we determine that the, the characters that we're working on are done, or hopefully earlier than that. But once they're done, then we notify the city. They have to be back on the carousel for inspection, usually around mid-April. We have to respect these things because they are 100 years old, so that's why we keep them in good repair. The carousel always opens to the public um, on the Victoria Day long weekend, the Saturday of the Victoria Day long weekend uh, at 11 o'clock in the morning. Thank you to the Friends of the Carousel for maintaining this Port Dalhousie treasure. If you would like to volunteer or donate, visit their website. In St. Catharines, for The Source, I'm Brenda Schultz.